Panzer Kampfwagen E100. Here you see it in a captured position aboard a dolly with a, a British fellow. This is plate. Um, 495 Panzerkampfwagen E100 the completed chassis and the chassis being removed on a trailer after the war by the British Army so here's plate 495 and here is plate 496 It basically says the same thing. But I've seen this plate in the context of moving footage on YouTube where like um, they show American tanks and British tanks. Oh, well, a Valentine tank rolling up next to it and like someone jumping out and looking it over. I think the British got first dibs on this and that's what happened they took it and as the story goes uh, the British scrapped this as they got I guess they got tired of it <laughs> E100 other designation Garat 383 type super heavy tank Manufacturer, Henschel. One prototype built at Paderborn. Crew, five. Weight, 140 tons. Length, 10.27 meters. Width, 4.48 meters. Height, 3.29 meters. Engine, Maybach, HL234. Gearbox, 8 forward, 4 reverse, speed, 40 kilometers per hour, range, 120 kilometers, radio, FUG5, armament, 1, 15 centimeter, KWK, 44L38, 1, 7.5 centimeter, KWK, 44L36.5. 17.92 millimeter machine gun MG34 traverse 360 degrees power elevation minus 7 degrees positive 23 degrees sight ZF ammunition for 15 centimeter 32 rounds ammunition for 75 millimeter 200 rounds So before I, I move along on this, I made a uh, thumbnail sketch uh, of the E100 or Garat 383. So please do not become enraged and jump down my throat. It's hard to make a three-dimensional object out of a book, but here's the turret. Basically, I think it's a mouse turret uh, design or getup. They're talking about larger calibers of uh, of gun. So here is a, uh, a 150 millimeter, and here is a, uh, a 170 millimeter. So that is a 17 centimeter and a 15 centimeter. Pretty sure. Here is my three-dimensional mock-up of the hull. And what I'll do is, as I read the statistics, I will uh, point them out here. Um, because what's interesting is that there's no picture of a turret in any of these plates. It's just something you you know you have to mock up because they talk about it. Armor millimeters by angle. Turret. Turret front. 240 millimeters 
at um, 200 by 30 degrees around it says round turret round 200 by 30 degrees so here's the round angle of 200 by 30 degrees <laughs> turret side 200 millimeters so here's the side 200 millimeters on that at 30 degrees. Rear 200 millimeters at 7 degrees. Turret top bottom armor uh, 40 millimeters so I presume this is 40 and something down here maybe 40 at uh, 90 degrees that sounds correct <laughs> alright superstructure so the superstructure is a component that's like right about here above the um, road wheels 200 millimeters at 60 degrees so here it is here in my drawing and I, it's this I believe this is the superstructure 200 millimeters at 60 degrees Pardon me, that's the front. Sorry. Okay, so we're talking about superstructure front, 200 millimeters at 60 degrees. Okay, right here. Okay. Superstructure side, 60 millimeters at, and 120 millimeters at 20 to 0 degrees. So that's here. The side okay and then the rear 150 millimeters at 30 degrees back here uh, top bottom 40 millimeters at 90 degrees so I presume like the top is 40 millimeters at 90 degrees of the superstructure. Okay. The hull. 150 millimeters at 40 degrees. Front. So it's like right here. Right in here is 100 50 millimeters at 40 degrees. Okay. The side of the superstructure in here. Pardon me, the hull. 120 millimeters at zero degrees. Yes. Rear. Back here. 150 millimeters at 30 degrees. And top bottom <laughs> of the hull is uh, 80 millimeters at 90 degrees now I apologize for all that being a little confusing it's like uh, it's hard to do a diagnostic with this tank the super heavy tank but now we're gonna jump back to this statistic here gun mantlet front is 240 millimeters so let me mock that up. So the mantlet is like like this part, right? It like holds the gun. And that thing is 240 millimeters thick on the E100. And what is the angle of it is something called a 
Sockkopf blend. Sockkopf blend is the angle, I guess, here. And that is an off-the-cuff E100 production. I hope you enjoyed it.